Welcome back to another video on the channel. The last video I did was really high effort. This one is not going to be high effort at all. I'm going to break down a game from this past weekend week, uh, which was really interesting. It was a great game. It was against a good opponent. I really feel like I have a lot to say about this game. Uh, so that's why I'm going to do an old school, like full game breakdown. It's going to be about 35 minute long video. If you can watch it in one full sitting, that is fine. But I would recommend to watch the whole video at least once just so you can kind of see my thought process because I feel like I did some good things that I'm very proud of in this game and some not so good things that probably you guys can improve on as well. Without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, let's go over uh, to this thing you can see. Those are my top three. The reason why I have two linebackers with Lurker is because I'm running the Miami Dolphins defense. Uh, which has one for six but it does not have uh, 55 normal which means that i cannot get safeties at outside linebacker in 55 wide but if your linebackers have lurker they can do a kind of decent job of playing that role you can see my opponent is kicking off which is something that i never want to do also you can see that my opponent is AO playboy i know that psn he's a pretty decent player so this will be a tough game to play but i'll take a knee and now you can see me i'm setting my audibles that's one key thing obviously a lot of my viewers know that uh but i just wanted to point that out again it is important you guys set your audibles really have four plays that you always feel comfortable running your best four plays so you can always go to them and if you can never call one of those four plays uh because you will be able to audible again, uh, to them as well um He's coming out in show blitz. Uh, Big Nick over G show blitz. I hate playing against this. I'm just taking my flat to get on a hash, but I absolutely hate playing against the show blitz defense. It's good defense if you have somebody who knows what he's doing. Uh, this guy's a top 100 player, so he kind of knows what he's doing. Yeah, I, I dislike that very much. Is right there. You can see me just uh, sidestepping him. I'm gonna play maker up. Gonna get the possession catch. Good play. But that's not something that I will be able to do consistently. Sidestepping like that, I was I was taken by surprise with, by the user who was not ready for it. So that's why I had to kind of improvise and make a broken play. I'm not comfortable from what I'm seeing from those first two plays. Not really what I want to see happen. But right there, you can see me. I just get enough time, get the playmaker to go. Um, it's not like I'm scared, but also it's not like I'm comfortable. I have to still kind of figure out where I'm at. Now here, right here, you know, this is still big. What is that? It looks like like some sort of dime set with four D linemen and a couple of. All right, sense of pressure. I, I get get the outright to go. I will say that pressure did not really work out too well for him on this first drive, um, but this seems to be kind of the main defense so uh, of his. So while I do not like playing show blitz, I feel like at this moment I was pretty comfortable. I was maybe thinking that this is not going to be that difficult of a game because i'm just dotting him up uh but right there you can see me that just nothing going I had to throw the ball away um really omaha does not matter to me that much i just don't want to be put in bad spots so second and ten right here that was a good decision just get rid of the ball don't make a stupid mistake second and ten you can see me running bench pivot i can escape out of the pocket it's right there oh that was kind of scary I feel like the corner was open. I was just not sure if I was past the line of scrimmage. And if you're past the line of scrimmage, it's a floaty pass. And then very often it's going to be a pick. So that's why I took off right there. Kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but I didn't fumble the ball, which, you know, that's always what you don't want to have happen. You don't want to fumble the ball. Uh, third and two, it is my opponent's 12 yard line right now. And right here, it's so difficult to play because I want to pass the ball. I feel like I can get some yards passing, but it's also so risky. You can see him sort of use rushing me is right there. Oh, oh, I made the correct read. I was just a little bit too slow. And right there, you can see that's going to be for six. Slay has 99 speed. Tyreek has 99 speed. There's no way he's going to catch up to him. That hurts. I had a pretty good drive. Just one bad play and he takes it back for six. Um... I don't know if RG3 was tired when he didn't throw that ball fast enough or whether that window is just not, I, I just can't throw the ball there. But anyways, th that's tough. Um, I had a pretty decent drive, but I just threw it away with one play. That is tough mentally because I feel like this guy is playing some decent defense. I had some good plays against him, but I'm not sure if I can keep that up consistently. So right now I'm thinking in my mind that obviously I'm frustrated, but I just have to, I just have to keep my cool as best as I can. Now, I'm a very infuriated guy. I'm very rage heavy i rage pretty easily um that's something that i've been trying to work on i feel like i've gotten better at but now my people are just tired so i'm just gonna call it timeout 
Um, first half timeouts don't really mean that much, so I'm just going to call it timeout right there. But uh, whatever the case may be, I'm kind of annoyed right now. I'm kind of annoyed, but I'm just thinking, okay, let's go back to the play basics. Let's run flood and then boom. I throw my pick six. I was not in the right state of mind at this point, I would assume, because that's not a ball that I uh, throw that often anymore. I feel like I've kind of graduated past that. But sometimes th this stuff just happens, and there really is no excuse. I was just a very bad play. It was a good look by him. Uh, I looked open at first, but then I, s I kind of saw his user creeping up right as I threw it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that was stupid. I'm just going to set up my defense real quick. Um, but yeah, I'm in a terrible spot at this point. Uh, down 14 points. My opponent hasn't even touched the ball on offense yet. All of, of, of my offense. He scored 14 points on defense. That's rough. That's rough. That's really not a good start to a game against someone who knows what they're doing. Um, but whatever the case may be, he's going to kick his uh, extra point. But I didn't feel like quitting either. I wanted to get this drive going, maybe get another drive. I just really wanted to see where this game can go because I feel like I played this guy last week. Uh, he beat me. I don't even know. I don't know if he beat me that close, but I, I don't think it was that close. I think it was by like two possessions. Um, so I wanted revenge, uh, and I didn't want to pussy out. So I just stayed in the game. I tried my best. Um, we'll see where this goes. Uh, first and ten. Uh, yeah, I really have no. This game was played. Three, four days ago, I have no idea what, what I was thinking. Well, not, not what I was thinking, but what I was thinking because I can't kind of feel uh, what I would have felt. Um, I was right there. Oh, oh. <sighs> see, see, that hurts. Uh, I was very slow on that read, to be honest. I was really slow. I threw that ball way too late. Should have been out way sooner. Um, but getting a pick six like that when he's engaged to the line of scrimmage and he then just... He didn't even click on, I don't think. Uh... He then just disengages, gets the pick. That's really, really difficult to come back from mentally. Uh, you will see. I'll soon get the message. Uh, yeah, this this really sucks. Uh, this really sucks. Looking back on it, I really am hap unhappy with how I started like, this game. Uh, very unnecessary, too. But whatever the case may be, I'll just have to keep fighting. That's, that's the one thing that I keep telling myself. All right, just try. Just try, because what am I supposed to do? I'm like... 14 and 1 I had the, the first game of weekend league was a DC glitch uh, Where I lost didn't even enter the game So I'm at a, on a good winning streak. And I, I don't really want to throw this away this that easily So I'm just gonna keep doing the same thing I'm gonna try to make the best out of it as you can see me right there throwing a good ball very happy about that But this still does not I, I don't feel comfortable. I really do not because the blitz was coming in that was a very tight throw so just overall I'm not comfortable but I'm, I'm thinking, okay, let's let's see where this goes. Uh, so first and 10, you're going to see me motion out of the corner. Out. He plays man coverage on the corner. What a good play call. But I got the playmaker. Ah, yes. Drop too, back too far in the puck. That's my fault. It's not a cheat. That was my fault. Should not do that. Should know better than that. Uh, but sometimes that just happens. You get lazy. You get... Uh, if you're already having a bad game, that's just something that keeps continuing. And then... You're just kind of annoyed, but right there you can see me. Everything's back, but I step up in the pocket nicely. Scary, scary. You know, in a game like that, you feel like there's a lot of there are a lot of things going against you. You really, really do not want to give you a chance to cheat. You have to call a timeout, Richie, because my quarterback is dark blue tired. That's about as tired as you can get. Uh, you don't want to risk that. You, you really don't. And now first and ten. Okay, two good plays in a row. I like that. Maybe not two good plays in a row, but two good plays this drive. I like that. I feel like I'm getting somewhere. I'm feeling I'm starting to see his defense better right there. I saw that he was going to man up the guy on the right. And I felt like he wasn't going to cover uh, the drag with his user. I did a good job. I'm starting to feel his defense a little bit better. So I feel comfortable. Uh, comfortable. It's right there. Same thing again. Just going to put the tight end on the drag this time. Very, very nice. Going to go to the second quarter. You will see. I get the message, but no, I'm not going to concede, you guys. Are you kidding me? You really think I'm going to concede? I will keep fighting, especially now that I kind of am starting to move the ball on him a little bit better. I haven't. I want to at least see his offense. I want to see what he's doing on offense before I'm going to tap out. So first and ten right here. I'm going to go for a very simple setup. I'm going to put a flat right there on the right side. It's open. 
I will take it. I will rack it up the field. Would have liked to get more yards, but you see how I'm thinking. You see how I'm kind of getting a feel for his defense. And now, despite the score, I feel a little bit more comfortable. That you, you guys can play a drinking game with like some buddies of yours, and whenever I say comfortable, uh, just take a shot. Uh, but whatever the case may be, I'm getting more into the game. I understand the game a lot better as that right there was scary again. But quarterbacks really do not fumble. I want them to fumble. Uh, because I can kind of train myself to slide, but some other people can't. Uh, and that's why I want Fumbles to be back in the game. But whatever the case may be, I'm starting to feel a lot better. Let's go. Uh, gonna run flood again. It's right there. I was gonna throw it at him probably. Um, I don't know if he could have gotten there, but if he, if he could have gotten there, well, maybe. Maybe that was, uh, it, it looked ugly. Let's just say that it looked ugly. The in looked open, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Thank God for that, uh, that we didn't have to let it come down to that. Second and 10 right here. I'm going to go for a cor corner post setup. You can see the post is open. Good job, bro. Uh, what's, what's his name? I really have no idea. Robert Woods. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guy in chat, to just uh, sent a mad message. Whatever. What? You don't know Robert Woods? Well, I do. I just didn't remember the name. Uh, so right there, I'm going to escape outside of the pocket. Uh, he was tired as hell. You'll see, uh, he, he moved slow as shit. Um, there really is nothing that I could have done right there. I, I, I feel like I made the most out of that. Uh, whatever the case may be, I'm going to put in uh, King Henry. I'm going to come out in QB Sneak. Is that QB Sneak? Yeah, it is. Uh, because I felt like he was not going to be ready to be in Sneak defense. I'll try my best, and then it just gets stood up. Good play by my opponent. So that's why you know that you're playing a good opponent. If he can stop sneak out of that formation, uh, then he's doing a good job. Now, this is very tricky. Third and goal, I have two more plays. You see how even after the two-minute warning, he is still dark red. He is still dark red, man. That's how tired he was. That's how tired he was. Whatever the case may be, third and goal. This is a very big play. I need to get this pretty much. And Derrick Henry fights. He's not tired at all. First play of the game uh, that he runs Good job, King. Uh, somewhere on the board, only 14 points down. But the thing is, he gets the ball to start the second half. If he does not uh, score points, but also doesn't give up points, he's in a phenomenal spot. I don't think, I don't think there's a thing that you can do if he does not uh, score. Mm, maybe if I get a stop on the second half. But if I don't get points right here, then this is looking very tough. So defensive mindset right now is first of all, I don't, I don't, I have no idea what he's running no idea but what i do know is that i kind of have to get some going on defense and more than just stopping him getting a three and out because i don't have timeouts uh so if he will be able to get this to around 40 seconds give me a long punt uh 40 seconds no timeouts at my 30 yard line that's difficult to really make something mean meaningful out of uh so i'm thinking okay let's play some aggressive defense let's see if we can get a pick um i'm already down bad and I see him coming out in near close flex, and I've, I'm thinking, what the hell? But also, I'm thinking, yes, let's go. He's not running a good offense because this offense, you, it's not that good, really. Uh, I don't know why he's running that instead of something more competent or uh, something more meta because it's not working. It's right there. You can see first play. I really was thinking that he might just run a deep play on me, uh, but he didn't. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling right now. Really, what I'm thinking is, okay. I feel like I got a grip on this guy on, on, the, on my defense. Uh, his office is not really going to be that great. It's right there. He just uh, runs the ball, fights forward for quite a few yards. Third ninjas. He's just running the ball until now. But I feel like at some point he's just going to pass the ball. And when that happens, I feel comfortable getting established. But here he's going. He's in. Um, what is it? Um, uh, gun heavy. I don't know what that's called, but... Jumbo, near Jumbo, there you go, near Jumbo, um, and I stop him, I absolutely blow it, blow it up, so thank God, thank, thank God for that, because now, I don't think there's a way that he can go for this, to be honest, I'm gonna get the ball back with about a minute, that's pretty decent, um, I don't know why he was waiting that long, he was just gonna punt the ball, I, I think that was a good decision by me, you really cannot go for this, uh, make it any easier for me, because if you go, if you go for this right here, and I stop you, uh, then you're gifting me three points. At least make me work for any points at all. Um, that's right there. Uh, good user by him. 
at the 18 yard line in minutes which is not much better than 30 yard line and 40 seconds but we have life boys we have life and you see uh quarterback was still tired it's crazy it was still light blue uh but whatever the case may be now we're in a really 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 much better spot than we were in earlier and right there he just he just plays stupid he just plays straight up stupid defense i find julio jones he's gonna fight into the end zone i appreciate that my guy julio uh titans wide receiver number one that was a very bad play by him i don't know what, what he's doing using uh the middle third uh with one minute left in the second in the first half really no i have no idea what he's doing but that led me back in the game so i appreciate that my guy let me just take some uh pick me up juice mm. Really idiotic of him. But, thank you. I appreciate that. We're back in the game. We're only down seven. I just have to not give up points. I don't think that I will be able to get points again. This half. So, all I'm thinking is, okay, just don't give up. Don't, you don't even give up th three. Don't gift him three. You saw his offense. It's trash. It's absolute garbage. Um, so, I will be able to get a stop out of half, probably. If not, I will at least be able to hold him to three. I don't think he will score seven on me. Uh, with this offense, no cap. Um, you see him motioning out uh, the corner runs, and I feel like it's kind of backed. Oh, that would have been a pick six. No, nah, it would have. It, it would have at least been a pick, and it would have at least, at least been three. If you got a good throw right there, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, but yeah, this this is not looking good. It's not looking good for him. And right there, I get the idea to try to use a rush him. I'm going to try to use Russian. The thing is that this was a stupid idea because he was just going to block at least one of those running backs and then he was going to pick me up. Uh, it's right there. Yeah, just no shot. Just no shot. But I get the shed. Uh, that was then went about as well as he could have because I was using the deep uh, the deep flat zone. Uh, that was on the sides, uh, the left side, and that was a crosser. And that would have been open. Uh, but I saw that and now I'm going back to use it. Come on, game. Give me a fumble there. Give me a fumble there. He got sacked. He hurried. Did he hurry up? I don't actually remember. He hurried up. Um, but he just runs. I ah, just runs like that. Give me a fumble. Give me a fumble, guys. Give me a fumble. Give me another break. Uh, that would have been a nice uh, way to end the half. But I got seven points to end the half. He's going to get the ball. So that is not ideal. But I feel good nonetheless because he cannot move on me at all. Excuse me, guys. There you go, try to not burp. I really tried my hardest. But now he, I'm gonna kick the ball off. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. I'm in a way better spot than I was uh, just five minutes ago. And that really, I, I can't complain too much if, about how this game has gone so far. I mean, of course, I'm down. He gets the ball with a chance to score. So that's not ideal. But considering how I started this game off to where I am now, this is perfect. This is this absolute part for the course. Of course, I could not have, could not have hoped for anything better. I'm thinking he's just gonna start running the ball because his passing looks shit, uh, and that's exactly what he does. I'm aggressive with my user. Um, I probably would uh, be in a bad spot to cover the pass out of this, but, but there's just no way that he doesn't run the ball to start the half to get the clock moving. Uh, that's just something that people want to do, even though the clock is not a big factor right now, but it just makes them feel comfortable. Um, so I was really afraid for that. Now I think he's going to pass. He's going to make a lot of hot routes. Uh, he motions out the corner, and this time, it actually looks a lot better. Um, I thought that my zone was going to get there, but no. That is why I'm thinking right now. I'm thinking, and in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, cover two. Let's switch to that, maybe. Let's try it, because cover three is notoriously weak against these corner nuts, but Tampa 2, that can sometimes play those and at least make the read a little bit more difficult um, to make because there's a zone kind of there and you don't really feel comfortable uh, throwing it too often. As right there, he gets the crossing route open. Uh, can I get there? I got there, okay, he got cheated. Um, that was a good throw by him. And I'm not gonna change the zone drops, you guys. I'm not gonna change them because I feel like when that happens, sometimes people, um, they see that a route is open and the zone drops don't change and they get really antsy and maybe their timing is off a little bit. Um, so whenever I get something like this, 
I rarely ever change them. Trip side end is an exception because it's, if I know that somebody is going back to the same plane trip side end, then I'm going to change the zone drops to 30. Uh, but right there, see, that's exactly what happened. He threw it too early. My zone was still there. It was not dropping down yet. So that was a very bad play by him. And I'm fully back in this game, guys. I'm fully back in it. I got the ball. Only done seven at my opponent's 46. Uh, quarterback is still tight for some reason. Uh, that must be a glitch really 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 bad by him he kind of choked this game at, up until this point and i'm going back to the same play that got me the touchdown i'm just gonna throw the out route guys i'm just gonna throw the out route. i'm gonna go f f maybe get a lucky three yards with that full forward animation but i'm just gonna take my yards when they're there and everything else will fall into place you can go me back see, uh, see me going back to flood i'm gonna throw the in route which was kind of scary so probably throw it to the running back but no pick so you can just calm down, be the sigh, uh, breath of relief, whatever that saying is. Um, and we're at 32. Uh, I really feel comfortable right now. I, f I think that this guy has no idea or he's not going to be able to stop me. And then he just doesn't send any. Uh, yeah. I had a touchdown, you guys. Um, he just sends, what does he send? Like three people. Or no, two people. One was a guy rushing and one was his user on the user blitz. Damn, damn, I had a touchdown. He overthrew it a little bit. Kind of annoying, kind of annoying. But he's just doing some things I, I know that he's not comfortable doing. Uh, it's right there. I just get a step with the streak. And let's go. We got the touchdown. He was probably shading underneath because he wanted to be really aggressive. And then he didn't get the press. I don't know what that was. I, I just burnt him. I burnt him down the middle. The user was nowhere near close to covering that. And we're up. Now we're up. But we're back. We're absolutely back, and this guy has got to be shaking, because uh, he just blew me out last week. He probably thinks that he's better than me. He was up 21 points in the first quarter, and then he, he just gave it all back. His offense is not doing shit. He's got to be shit in the bed right now. But and we underestimated top 100 player. These people, they fight. They fight. How do I know that? Because I fight, and I'm probably not quite a consistent top 100 player yet i got 23 wins uh, the, uh two weeks ago i got 21 wins this weekend so let's not pretend like i'm such a consistent top 100 player but here's one thing that i do know i'm gonna fight like one and i fought like one in this game and i'm fully back in it and now he has got to be sweating he's running an in route uh, the crossing route is open good play by him right there he got outside of the pocket yeah okay it's gonna happen very bad play very bad defense by me but i'm still gonna do the same thing uh i want him to continuously roll out i'm probably gonna put a spy out there in the field at one point or another and then i'm gonna force him uh to make throw the ball maybe a little bit too early right there no you're just not gonna run that on me this year just not as good this year as it was last year that's why people are not running it um he should be a little bit smarter than that second at 11 um that's what I needed. I needed to get my foot in the door again. I just, I can't give him three yards on that run because then he f still feels like he's com he's comfortable. Uh, if you get three yards on the run, then you're like, okay, cool, I'm in the game. If you get blown up for minus one yard, no, not so much. As right there, he uh, has a good play going on. I just get the pressure in time. That's what happens if you send four. Uh, send four gets a lot better pressure than send three. And that's what I was sending at him. Also, uh, with... What's the thing? Uh, with under center, it's sometimes bad at blocking. So I don't feel like that was particularly lucky. That like it's just it's gonna happen. Uh, so I get this. I get the shed third and eleven right here. Get off the shed! And this time I'm playing defense for it. He's rolling out. I'm sending the spy. Gonna get the sack. That was good defense right there by me. I adjusted. That was kind of slow on his part. He just just thrown the drag as soon as he saw me biting back. That was pretty obvious that it was gonna do that because I'm not gonna give up the same route twice in a row i'm better than that guys he should know that too but it kicks his sweet uh i held i uh, held true on my promise uh that this guy was not gonna get more than three against me on a, on any given drive uh I, f I still feel that's true i don't know if this guy is gonna score more than three points on offense uh per drive i'm not gonna i don't see him scoring seven to be honest but now i see myself getting seven all the way back in the game i fought i clawed I fought hard. We're still light blue for some reason. Maybe uh, maybe he, because he was that damn tired uh, that one play that he's going to be tired the entire rest of the game. 
or maybe it's just a visual glitch. But whatever the case may, may be, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm running. Uh, simple drag on Jones. He's gonna beat him to the inside. I love this inside specialist. Is I don't know why it works so well on drags, but it just does. Drag routes does a good job getting open. Uh, get the first down at the 40 yard line. About 35 seconds left in the third quarter. You can see me setting a bench pivot again. I only have a few plays, but those few plays they are silent but deadly. Um, as I throw this out route for a couple of yards, five yards, very simple. Going to go to the fourth quarter after I was down 21 points in the first quarter. I'm only down three and I'm fully in the game. Feel very good about that. Second and five at my 45. Very, very, very good spot. I'm in only a few more yards for a safe field goal. Uh, with Janikowski, you can kick from about the 44. It really is stupid. Uh, good throw right there by me. I saw him using rushing. He was not going to get back there at all. Throw the drag. Get the first down in my opponent's territory. Already. He saw nano detection work on the right side of the field. Which is kind of stupid. But hey, that's the game we're playing. Splits didn't come in. I threw the drag. Very, very simple. Gonna go back to a similar concept that I had the touchdown on earlier. Uh, this time, I'm not gonna play Mick. He was ready for the playmaker. But I, but I specifically decided to not play Mick because of that reason. Got the... F didn't get the first. My bad, guys. My bad. I was maybe jumping the gun here a little bit. Uh, second and four. After that nice uh, kind of like um, mind game play earlier, double drags with the tight end and this whole receiver. Uh, out route on the right. Gonna take the out route. Get out of bounds just before the first down. Third and one right here, I think. Uh, looked like it. Uh, third and one. Now, this is an important uh, play because I really do not want to give him too much time. I really want to feel the pressure, maybe force, maybe force something. I'm gonna put a. Um, Fade out there, then I'm gonna decide. Okay, maybe I'm just gonna put as right there for a beautiful Lopez. Um, because I think that he was just gonna end up catching up to a fade, and that's why I put an out route out there. I could have thrown it, uh, but I just felt more comfortable with the in route throwing with the low pass. It's a better angle, uh, throwing wise, like I'm not really throwing across the DB's body. Uh, so I think that was a good decision right there. First and 10, you can see me. I'm just passing the ball every play. Amazing pocket by me. And you can see Jones getting into the end zone. I'm still uh, on balance. I'm not conservative. So that's why I'm going to drill into the end zone for the flair, for the fans. And I'm up four points. Yeah, okay, right, kick, let's go. Can never jinx it, guys. Don't be, be careful without jinxing those extra points. I'm up four points. I fought all the way back. Now it's time to play some defense. Um... Yes, it's time to play some defense. I don't think there's much more that I can say or that I need to say. It is time for defense, and I got it, you guys. I got it. Tampa 2 out of Big Nickel OG has been giving him all sorts of issues. Just make sure he doesn't pop a run, and then I think we will be good to go. I'm just going to wait for him to counter a new close flex. I don't know why he would, to be honest. I don't even know why he's running that, that formation. I really have no idea. Okay. Let's lock in. Let's get a defensive stop. That's very important. At least 25, two and a half minutes left in the game. He, all of the timeouts are still on the board for both teams. Now, Lego, uh, he's making a smart read right there. That was open the entire game. I don't know why he just decided to throw it, to throw it now. It's only a few yards, though. Uh, that's perfect. I'm going to give that up. He's not going to get another playoff. He just wasted 30 seconds on a little flat. Um... Time is not really an issue to be quite honest because he has three timeouts. Um, but 30 seconds, you can run some you can run some plays if you get out of bounds. Uh, so that was a stupid decision by him. It's not go out of bounds there. He really has been making this game easy for me ever since the first quarter. As soon as I got something going on offense, he just crumbled. Second and five. After the flat, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not gonna give you that anymore. I'm gonna man that up now. Uh, he's gonna scramble, nothing there. Smart throw well by him, he threw it away as soon as he could. He was out of the tackle box and he was like, let me get rid of that ball because I do not want to get sacked. Third and five. Terrible last play. He must not feel confident in his, uh, in his, my bad. What do you call it? His office at this point because he really has not been getting anything going. I'm going to man up the running back on the flat route again and I'm gonna send four people because I want the pressure to come in i want him to feel it i want him to feel like oh my god he's sending four people this might be trouble this might be trouble third and five is gonna call it timeout 
I don't know, maybe his players were tired or something. But this is a big game right here. And not a big game. This is a big play. Third and five. I can make this really difficult. If I hold, if I get him to throw the ball away again. If I even get a sack, then that's of course, yeah, you guys know. But even if I get him to throw the ball away and just make this kind of a tough fourth down. First time he stunned that motion, by the way, so I was kind of scared. He's on a streak route. Yeah, guys. And then he just throws a delay fade. What the hell? I remember this now. I was so pissed. How? How can you never get animations on those delay fades? It's insane. You re you can't play them, guys. I, I don't know. If somebody in the comments has an idea of how to actually cover these delay fades or how to get them into a tackle animation, please do let me know because it's getting ridiculous. Second and seven, he runs the ball. Yeah, he just gets held alive by this. He just drops all the way back, throws it across his body. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, it is ridiculous. But what are you going to do? No time to complain. Just gotta play some defense, and he really is playing some. T oh my God, that's that's a hell playmaker! But we got there, boys. Wow, that was a hell playmaker. That was a he threw it a little too early. Um, maybe if he waits half a second more, uh, then Taylor Mays is not gonna play that. But damn, he played the hell out of that. Good job, Taylor Mays. Uh, he was in his own right there. He was not user. I really ha do not know how he made that play right there. I'm just gonna run the ball right here. He has. Uh, one last time out. This uh, this game is over. He only has one more time out after this. This game is over. Taylor Mays made a hell play. Carl Banks, appreciate the pick. Wow. I came all the way back. I came. That was 28 to 3 after the first quarter. Uh, so I feel like, even though I'm, I'm sure that this is not his primary offense, the fact that I scored 28 points on you, I feel like. I feel like that says something about my offense and your defense. But also, like, he got his points strictly off of defense. So, yeah, you, I guess you could say that kind of levels it up. But I don't think so. I think scoring 28 on, on uh, oh, my bad. Like, why can't I talk? Scoring 28 on offense is more impressive than scoring 21 on defense because that does not really require. Uh, scoring on offense doesn't require that, that much luck. GG's, guys, to our opponent, of course. I was about to say we're gonna respect him, but no. There's there's no way you can blow that game and still get respect for me. Uh, let's switch the scenes. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a throwback. I did that a lot to end the last year. Just kind of give you my thoughts on the game. Had a whole lot of fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a whole lot of fun coming back on this dude. GG's in the chat, even though we're on YouTube and I don't stream on YouTube, so there's no chat on YouTube. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I will be doing some more things like this where i kind of show you my uh thoughts uh, on how i come up with schemes what i'm thinking during games if you enjoyed this let me know in the comments of course subscribe to the channel if you're new and until next time goodbye guys i love you all and see you